Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to cook sweet and sour fish. This is a famous Chinese dish. It has the shape of jumping fish. It means that you can overcome any difficulties you might come across in your life. Hope you will like it. So now let's start. First, prepare a fish. You can choose barramundi or carp. Make sure the fish scales and the viscera are all removed. Now cut the fish like I do. First, vertically cut it until the life touches the fish bone and then flatly cut it like this. Give two cuts here. Watch it one more time. This is what the fish looks like after cutting. Now we need to marinate the fish. Cut some ginger and some scallion. Add some cooking wine to the fish and then put the ginger and scallions to the fish too. Let it marinate for 20 minutes. In the meantime, we can prepare the starch paste. Add some starch to a large bowl. Add some water. And crack one egg. Mix well. Add three spoons of cooking oil. Mix again. The starch paste is prepared. Now get rid of the ginger and scallions. Make sure the fish is dry. Put some starch onto the fish. Make sure every corner of the fish is wrapped with a thin layer of starch. Now prepare a small wooden stick and put it into the belly of the fish like this. This can help us to form the shape of a jumping fish later. Now put the starch paste onto the fish. After that, we can heat the oil. When you see bubbles appear on the chopstick, put the fish into the pot. In the beginning, in order to form the shape, we need to hold the fish like this. After around 30 seconds, drop the fish into the pot. Fry the fish carefully. Make sure all sides of it are fried. Get the fish out from the pot when the starch paste becomes golden. Now we need to make the sweet and sour sauce. Add some ketchup, four spoons of white vinegar, some sugar, half teaspoon of salt, and a little bit dark soy sauce. Mix well. We also need to mix some garlic and some ginger. Prepare the pan and add some cooking oil to it. Pour the sauce into the pan. Put the garlic and ginger into the pan too. Keep on stirring until you can smell the flavor of garlic. Then prepare some starch water. Pour the starch water into the pan. Also, add some of the hot oil from the fish frying just now. When it becomes smooth and sticky, turn off the fire. Add the sauce to the fish. In order to make it look prettier, we can add some cooked peas or cucumber dices onto the top. It is ready. Try it and you will never regret. If you like my cooking recipes, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot and I will see you in the next episode.